Hey y'all, it's Samantha, and I'm coming on with a really quick collective uh, Valentine's Day haul. I have goodies from Walmart, Dollar General, Home Goods, Marshalls, and then the Dollar Tree. And almost everything that I have is Valentine's Day related, except with the exception of a few things. But I'm sorry I missed uploading last week. I just didn't have a chance, so I figured I would pop on today and show you guys all of these goodies. So let's just jump right in. So from Walmart, I picked up these little plastic lips and these actually contain two pairs of socks. Um, this little lippy has these little skull socks in it. These are $2.97. And I don't know that the camera is really picking up the color of this. It's showing more red on camera, but it's really like a deep, like hot pink color. And I actually saw Tony, who is Craft Purge, haul these, and I was like, oh my gosh, look how stinking cute. Like, you could use these for decoration, you could gift them as, you know, as it is, you could take the socks out and put all kinds of goodies in the inside. Um, I don't know, I thought these would be really cute just sitting around in the craft room, too. So anyways, there's this color. And then I also picked up the really, really light pink one that has glitter all throughout the little container. It's like made into the plastic. And here are these socks and they say meh. <laughs> so I thought those were really fun. And then moving on to the Dollar General, um, they had three of these little heart, little wooden beaded thingies. I'm not even sure what these are called. They almost remind me of apples because the bottoms are flat, but they're supposed to be hearts. But um, they have these little loops like on the end, if you guys can see those. So I'm not 100% sure like what the loops are or what this is supposed to be. We're just going to call it a, uh, a beaded wooden garland. How about that? <laughs> so here's the red one with the XOXO. And then the pink one says kiss. And I thought these would be really cute, obviously, in a tear tray. Or, you know, if you're in a swap or if you want to send some happy mail. Like, I think this would make a really cute, like, package topper. And then my favorite one is the white one. And it says love. And there's what this one looks like. And, y'all, these were only a dollar. So they were cheaper than the Dollar Tree. Um, then I grabbed a pack of these little heart glitter jimmy stickers. I grabbed this one in red and then the light pink. And this is the only two colors of those that I saw. <clears throat> and then this little list pad is absolutely adorable. And I love the fact that you're getting like so many colors. If you guys can see, like the hearts are all different colors. And the little lines for your list are different colors too. And I thought these were really fun. So there's that. And then the last thing from the Dollar General, I picked up a pack of these uh, Charms Valentine Pops. And y'all, these are so stinking cute. So here is a picture of the, um, the suckers. They're red heart shaped. But look at how the packaging is. Like how <laughs> stinking cute are these? And so I'm assuming the uh, flavors are vanilla cupcake, strawberry lemonade, Rainbow Sherbet, Watermelon, and Cotton Candy. But, I mean, I'm just obsessed with the packaging. Like, how cute are those? And these were only $2 a bag. So, that was it from the DG. And <clears throat> moving on to um, Home Goods, I picked up this decorative ribbon. There are five yards, and you're getting three colors. This is the Cupcakes and Cashmere at Home brand. And... Hopefully you can see like the iridescence in the ribbon, but I thought these were absolutely adorable and they were $5.99. And then I usually do not buy my cards anywhere but at the Dollar Tree, but y'all, I could not resist this one. Look at the little bunnies. And then it says, uh, be my Valentine. And in the inside, it says, Happy Valentine's Day. And you can see the envelope here has got all these little tiny colorful hearts all around it. And this was $3.49. But I, I don't know. I just was like, I have to get this card. And I also thought that this would be really cute if you wanted to frame it with just the bunnies. Like, how cute would that be for like a whimsical little Valentine's Day um, decor piece? Like, so stinking cute. So there's that. 
And lately, I have been really um, a little obsessed with these little pins that you can find at, you know, Home Goods, TG Maxx, Marshalls, all the places, Sierra Home Goods. Like, they're kind of like all, all the same store, even though sometimes you can find different things. But anyways, I have Halloween ones, I have Christmas ones, and now I have Valentine Day ones. And these are the Sweethearts pins. And look how stinking cute. And y'all, these pins write really good too. Like if you like a good fine tip, these are for y'all. Okay, like they are awesome. And look how stinking cute the packaging is. Um, these were $6.99. And I was thinking, you know, you could do something really fun with this box if you wanted to take the pins out. Because it looks like a giant sweetheart box. <laughs> or, um, y'all know what I'm talking about? The little candy hearts? Um... But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is how they write their sweethearts and everything like on the actual candy. But how stinking cute. And I did want to let you guys know that Timu also carries pens like this. So if you're interested in these and you can't find anything like this at your store, definitely check out Timu, y'all. And Timu is cheaper, by the way. So anyways, there's that one. And then the next thing I picked up is this Woodland Love Valentine card kit. And y'all, I don't need, what, what am I going to do with Valentines? I don't even know. But y'all know I love my critters and I could not pass these up. So you're getting the deer. It says you're a dear friend. The little fox. It says you're a terrific, terrific friend. And then the bear, it says, I can't bear to be without you. Like, what? <laughs> and then look at the little buttons. Oh, my gosh. Like, as soon as I saw these, it was like Impulse Buy for sure. Um, they were $6.99. And on the back, it shows you the front of the cards and then what the back looks like. And then the envelopes are just white. But I could not pass this up because look how stinking cute. Like, these are perfect. So, that is that. And then the remainder of the stuff came from the Dollar Tree. Um, I finally found one of the, um, the little felt heart trees. And I have looked everywhere for these, y'all. And I finally found one. And I think I'm going to just display this in my craft room year-round. Look how cute. And they also had a red one. But, of course, I went for the pink. Um, I picked up just a couple packs of um, decorative shreds. Y'all know I love packaging and I love these shreds. So I picked up the metallic red. And then I also picked up the iridescent uh, white. And I also picked up some of the mesh tube. I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times. But I'm going to tell you, I love this stuff for packaging. I used so much of it during Christmas time. So I definitely wanted to grab this color because I don't think I had any of this in my stash to begin with. So yeah, I grabbed two of these. And y'all, they are so fun for packaging. So there's that. And then I found these adorable spa headbands, y'all. And I'm going to open this because these things are thick. Like, they are really thick for $1.25. Can y'all see how thick that is? And it's nice and stretchy. And then the little flaps on the front here, you can actually bend those and move them around. But look how cute, and it's got the red hearts on it, and they had these in uh, pink, black, and white. So there's that. And then um, I found some, sorry, <laughs> got tongue-tied. I found some of the Valentine Day uh, socks, and I love these little socks. And they're really fun to gift to your friends or, you know, put in a gift basket for you know, maybe a teacher gift or an employee gift, like if you want to give it to a coworker or whatever. But look how sneaky cute these are. Like I should have bought more of these because, ugh, look, lots of pink going on there. So there's that. Um, I did buy a couple of these little makeup uh, pouches, and this one's got the little pink pom pom with the gold zipper. And this is the square one. Now they do have another kind that is kind of like. I don't know how to explain it. Like the top of it is curved and it's like a, um, a smoky black and it has like gold lines going throughout it. That one is really cute, but I really liked this design and I thought that these would be really fun 
Um, you know, obviously you could use them for your makeup. You could use them in your craft room. Like if you wanted to put, I don't know, anything in it, you know, like you just have to think outside of the box. And I thought these would also be cute to put some handmade goodies in if you're in a swap. Again, if you wanted to do some Happy Meal. But I thought these were really cool and for $1.25. So there's that. And then I did pick up a roll of the uh, Velvet Ribbon. Now they had like four different colors. But I only picked up black because I thought this would be great for Halloween crafting. Um, there's only one yard on here. So, yeah, but there's that. And then just the last, oh, and I, whoops, sorry, I do have one more a Valentine's Day thing. I found these little marshmallow hearts, and I have been seeing people haul these here on YouTube, and I thought, how stinking cute are those? Now, I have not opened these to taste them because I thought they are just cute like this, and I did purchase these to send out some uh, friend mail. But how fun are those? Like, those are just so stinking cute. Okay, now I can move on to the non-Valentine Day stuff. Um, I just picked up some of their uh, Ziploc sandwich baggies. And then I also picked up some of the um, snack size bags because I am planning on having another yard sale this year. And I need to get rid of a lot of jewelry. Like I have a surplus of jewelry that just sets in my jewelry box. So I figured I would grab these and these would be perfect to put like earrings and necklaces and all the things in. And then I could just write my price right on the outside of the bag. So there's that. And then I was excited to find the new refrigerator storage bins. I have been seeing a lot of people haul these. And these are, I mean, they're a little flimsy, but they are actually pretty good quality for $1.25. And these are 12 by 6 by 3 and a half, in case you're interested. Um, I plan on using these for storage in my craft room. And I am on a quest to switch over all of my storage to clear storage because that is just my thing. I have come to find out that I really like clear storage. And so anyways, I picked up four of those. And then the last thing I'm going to share with you guys is this ink pen. And I had to grab it. If So if you heard my chair popping, <laughs> that's what it was. These ink pens, y'all, run. Run and get these. These are stinking fan, stinking tastic. okay? I cannot express how awesome these pens are. So this is black ink. And it's a 0 0.7 millimeter, and I am a fine tip, you know, girl myself when it comes to pens. And it is the roller gel. And y'all, I'm telling you, screenshot this, run, and grab these. They are amazing. You will not be disappointed if you are a pen lover. You need to get this, okay? You've got to get this. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, that is it for this little haul. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye, friends.